Hi and welcome to the channel, my name is Anas and this is Solar FPV and I'm back at the desk because it's actually been winter here. Uh, raining, not like a snowy winter, but windy and raining and desk time. And um, like pretty much all my projects are done. Like I have lots of drones up there that are done. Well, the Tyro 79, the, I, that one needs new motors. I haven't gotten to that one yet, but I have... and. Jeez, you know, I don't know if I'm going to use that. I'm going to be flying some micros. I have a, I have a new, I have a, whoa, excuse me. I have a new, newish build here that, uh, what the hell? That, um, yeah, that I want to, that I want to break in, as you, as you say. And, uh, and that's going to be interesting this springtime. Uh, just a moment. And speaking about the rain. Yeah, just started again. So I said in uh, one of Bot Grinders' uh, lately videos, is uh, if you can't fly your drone, then uh, there are 10 other things that you can easily do. And you can go and watch this video there. But I mean, one of them was clean up your desk and get it sorted. And I got mine really nicely sorted. I mean, everything is very nicely sorted here. Yeah, it's very nice. So that, uh, that makes it easier to start building stuff. And I actually built this in like super... Super fast, super no time. Uh, about two hours or something. I had well, I had to take it apart a couple of times because. Uh, okay, so this is the Alpha Baby Rocky, a little uh, seventy-five millimeter-ish frame. It's a little wider though than it is uh, long, so it's not perfect X. And uh, carbon fiber seems to be okay. <clears throat> It's 1.5 millimeter. It's uh, this weighs all in all built. This is the um, the Crazy BF4 FR Sky, the the one with the VTX 25 milliwatt. I think it's not the one with the 400, and it's not a. And I mean, if you can, I don't know if you can see this, but see the cameras like just to get angle because of the way it's mounted is way way up there anyway this is definitely not just a frame you buy it's an alex aliexpress generic frame i've never heard of this company but if you don't have uh, a diamond board then uh, like the uh, chris bf uh, for uh, diamond board then <coughs> it seems to be made for that board for some reason and you get uh, all the hardware to be able to attach that uh it comes with metal screws and plastic nuts um and it it's, uh, yeah and the, it doesn't really and then it comes with all these 3d printed heavy bits and bobs like for the battery that you could top mount um where you could slide the battery in it's right here actually you can see one of those and uh yeah i didn't go with that it also came with just like uh, standoffs that didn't come with standoffs for the uh, for the FC. Uh, so if you're gonna go with the diamond board, you're gonna be having to flip it and do the motor re resourcing and all that jazz. If you know how to do that, uh, camera mount is okay. I had to uh, grind off a little piece of the camera. Now I threw it away, of course, but there was like a little plastic thing out dentation. I'm sure I had it here somewhere. It was just like a little plastic thing. I probably just threw it away. Good for me. Um, yeah. But there are like these little... Uh, the 3D printed parts here to hold the camera has like some... Uh, I had to get my own screws. Phillips screws. Uh, flat head Phillips screws that fit for camera. So if you don't have those, then good luck uh, mounting an ant camera in there. Um which is supposedly what you're supposed to. You might be able to fit something else. But, um, I had to cut something off the 3D print. It seemed like it had like a, a thing, like a thing going out, um, protruding, uh, which basically just made the uh, the bits of the, the side plates or whatever, or the mounting thing, get too close to the, to the props. The props would hit the camera. Camera is not like super tight in there. It can move around but it's stuck up against the uh, front uh, post like with the plug so uh i would probably advise getting a camera that has no plug uh for this build 
uh, that's just solder on at the camera and then um yeah and then a plug to plug into a flight controller or uh, go with a diamond vtx and you can mount the ant camera but all in all i'm pretty happy with this uh, my friend did help me cut standoffs uh, i have some I have like a box of these standoffs um, and I wanted a specific length as you can see so like the uh, the yeah so the board is aligned with the props I, I like that I, I don't know why don't uh, yeah it's just me and so he helped me he's a chef he's really good with a knife and he's got some really sharp ones so he's he helped me out uh, making <laughs> different sized um, yeah we actually use some of these and cut them to size because I hardly use these long standoffs. Um, these are, what are these? These are about two and a, two and a half centimeters. So I hardly use those. So he cut me some new ones. That's really cool. Thank you, Rene. Um, yeah, I couldn't have built this without him, actually. It wouldn't have been so neat. They didn't turn out totally straight, but hey, you know what? Uh, they actually turn out so they compress the flight controller in so it doesn't move around. Very much so that's really nice it's flying i put i tried to put uh, quicksilver on this but uh, and everything seemed fine in the configurator everything it was bound it had bound saved i could see the radio i could see the channels but i used the jumper t light and that has some three position switches and quicksilver is not ready for three position switches for some reason so oh, i don't think anybody from quicksilver is going to be watching this but if you do watch this then please implement like the standard layout of, of of buttons on a radio that we have like on the jumper t light and like the fr sky radios and uh oh god the crossfire radios and all that um that would be really nice or at least a choice and um, that's the only thing because i think that was the only deal where i couldn't get it working i couldn't arm it after afterwards um it's really weird and everything was set up really perfect. Like I, I could see the arming switch working on the screen. So I ended up going with uh, Emu Flight. I'm just to put it back to standard. Um, and it flew straight away on Emu Flight uh, 4.0.1. And uh, yeah, thank you, Emu Flight. That's awesome. So what I think I'm going to do is. I don't remember what version of Emu Flight I have on this one, El Toro. But El Toro is going to get new motors, so I'm going to put that on. The newest version of Emo Flight as well. It's the same if same FC. Um, no, actually, it's not. Is it? No, this is the uh, FR Sky, the Chris BFR. Uh, no, just the Chris BF4. No receiver, just receiverless. <laughs> I'm gonna put twenty thousand kV motors on those, so they're just gonna go get get like one one kV up, which yeah. 1000 kV up actually so that's nice um let's see about that i don't want to have tri blades with the 1.5 millimeter shafts i don't have the bi blades so we'll see uh if any of you guys know you know a good tune for the two to the you know i've got a tune or where i could get a hold of the like a tune for the new uh, what is it the mobula something something, something uh the one with the 20,000 kV rs 0802 um yeah, these ones from Happy Model. Uh, yeah, tune for a 75 millimeter whoop would be nice in the comments down below. But yeah, uh, not much, not, not, blah, 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 blah. not much else to say. Um, if you want to get this frame, you can get it from AliExpress. No link down below. I'm not affiliated. Uh, it's it's nice and cheap, and um, and it doesn't feel so cheap. It's pretty rigid. Pretty rigid, at least. And this whole thing weighs 26.16 grams like this without a battery. Um, and these are the 0802, the EX 0802, uh, 19,000 kV from Happy Model, the motors and the Ant camera. And the, uh, yeah, the, um, just the normal uh, Chris B F4 FR Sky with the integrated VTX. Um, yeah. And that's 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 all the build pretty much is. Mm, solid pin connector. Need to resolder it. It's a bit loose here. But yeah, nice little quad. Uh, but you're going to need some extra hardware if you're going to be building it. Uh, these are from S-U-E-L-V-E, Suelve. I think that's what they call Suelve or something. They have, uh, they have plastic standoffs. Um, 
and these are actually just for computers but these are the the smallest ones that i have the two millimeters uh, and those are the ones that i've used and and you're gonna need some you know i went with all plastic screws in uh, nylon screws everywhere for mounting instead of the metal screws and that obviously saves a, a bunch of weight i mean this was this is all well there's a little bit extra parts in here that are not supposed to be here but a lot of this was just extra dead weight and i think there's about saved about four four to five grams so yeah so nice so this is the bandito <laughs> anyway stay tuned for more from my desk and more flying obviously when the weather is good for it i will go fly but this one at least lets me fly a little micro quad uh, without ducts inside because this thing is tiny so yeah stay tuned uh leave a comment and uh, like and subscribe and all that fun good stuff down below thank you very much for watching and as always fly hard